Marcus here and welcome back to my YouTube channel and for today's video guys we're going to make the other top from this skirt so without further ado let's get started okay for your information 30 by 39 inches na lamang po ang natirang fabric natin dun sa my skirt so sa mga hindi pa pa nakapanood dun sa part 1 natin which is the square neck ruffle slits I'm going to link dyan sa mataas ng video natin, okay? So, for the instructions naman po sa measurements, sa back bodies and the front bodies, nakalagay po dyan sa my screen. Okay, guys, if ever nabibilisan po kayo sa video natin, pwede niyo siyang pabagalan dun sa my YouTube settings natin dyan sa YouTube app natin. guys we're now going to cut it for the front bodies naman guys ito price lang natin yung back bodies measurement natin and except the neckline part kasi gagawa tayo ng panibagong neck sa front natin. So, for the neckline of the front, we're going to measure 22 centimeter. And we're going to mark it a straight line. And then, ipopoint out lang natin yung sa point dun sa my neckline into that 22 centimeter pa is plant. And dun sa my baba niya is curve. A little curve line. After cutting the front and bodies, guys, we're now going to um, overlap or hem the row edges. Except dun sa my neckline niya kasi ibang paraan ng pagka-hemline ang gagawin natin dun. And now we're now going to connect the front and back sides of the shoulder part and after that guys we're going to cut two pieces with and the length is the overall neckline of the top so I cut it two pieces kasi hindi siya kasha pag isa lang and then we're now going to pin it all over the neckline part. After sewing it, we're now going to double hem na po para matapos ng ating hemline sa ating neckline. After that, we're going to proceed on making the waistband of the top. So, I cut it 5 inches width dun sa my lining ng skirt natin. And then, I combine the two, I connect the two, and then I hem it, double hem it, the sides that has cuttings. And we're going to connect now dun sa my pinakababa ng top natin. Except, wag niyong i-connect dun sa my neckline niya, okay? Moving on with the sleeves, I used the lining of the skirt too. And 
you're going to trace the sleeves of the top and for the armhole dapat measure niyo na maayos yung armhole niyo para hindi siya magaano um masikip so my measurements of the sleeves is the length is 10 inches and the width in half is 6 and a half inches and after that we're now going to overlock or hem the row edges of the sleeves or the cutted part of the sleeve so after that we're now going to sew the sides and then we're going to connect it on the armhole of the top to extend the ribbon kasi medyo bitin siya, I cut it a long strap pa for the ribbon tie of the top. I cut it 6 inches width and sew it in half. And then that's it for the ribbon tie of the top. Don't forget to double hem the hemline of the sleeves guys kasi I forgot. So medyo napahuli siya. <laughs> And then to finish the top, I added three buttons and button holes marking it by Taylor's chalk. Yes. So we're now going to see the final transformation in three, two, one. Bye.